G'day Trailblazers, my name is Cam. For today's video, we're we'll taking you through how to use the server-side JavaScript lookup function to return a value from a field within a data extension. So the lookup function in server-side JavaScript operates just the same way as lookup function in Emscript. You can find the documentation on the Salesforce Marketing Cloud Programmatic Languages documentation page under server-side JavaScript, under our syntax and guide through our functions into the platform functions, data extensions, and lookup. Now once here we can see there's almost exactly the same ordinals as the script syntax for lookup does. We of course have the data extension, the name of the column that contains the value to return, and of course the string or array of values to look up as our logic statement. Having a look at the script version of this is exactly the same, again the data extension, the value to return, and of course our logic to compare with. So let's jump into Marketing Cloud and try and look up some values from a sample data extension. So jumping into Marketing Cloud and in Content Builder I've got my trusty testing content block, which is connected to my cloud page so I can test my code quickly. I've got my script open and closing tags with the run at server to denote this as server-side JavaScript. I can jump back into my server-side JavaScript documentation page for lookup, I can copy one of the examples of the code. So I've got a great example here that I can use. So let's copy this code set. Once there, I'll jump back into my content block and I can paste it in. So here we have our variable of phone number. That's going to be looking up. Return this to that level there. There it is. The platform function lookup from the customer data data extension returning the phone where the external ID is equal to this. Well, we don't have this data extension, but I do have one that I made earlier. Jumping into contact builder and I've got my sample rows data extension. In my sample rows, I want to return back, well, let's return back Astro's first name. Let's do that. So I'm going to take the sample row data extension name and fill it into my first ordinal. That's the DE name. Now the field to return is the second ordinal. So I can go into my contact builder and the field I want to return is first name. So I can take first name with a capital F. Next, I want my field to look up. So to see where the values are true, that's going to be the ID field. All right, so I'll use ID. Then what value do I want to check against and return from? Well, Astro's ID is that ID. So I'll copy that ID and put that into my value to compare. So now it's going to search through my platform and sample rows, find the row where the ID is equal to sample rows this, which is Astro's row, then return back Astro's first name. I'm going to make the variable name first name, I can then platform response write that first name out. And for good measure, I can do something like uh, first name equals, and then plus to concatenate plus first name. And there we have it. So let's save this content block and refresh our cloud page to see how our code looks. I'll go refresh and first name equals Astro. Perfect. Let's try another one. We'll jump in and let's try and do Brandy. So we can take Brandy's ID take that value and make that search criteria in that same field, returning Brandy's, hopefully Brandy's first name, where first name equals first name. So we'll try it out, we'll go save and refresh. And sure enough, we have Brandy. So as you can see, if you are familiar with the script lookup function, which all marketers in Marketing Cloud should be, then using the server-side JavaScript lookup function should be second nature. Has exactly the same ordinals and works exactly the same way, allowing you to specify a variable as the result. You can print out that value in your email, content block, or server-side JavaScript function. And I hope you enjoyed this quick walkthrough of the server-side JavaScript lookup function to return a value from a data extension. If you have, then please let me know in the comments below with a big thumbs up on the video. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel so that you can notify when I release more Salesforce Marketing Cloud content.